Hey, hey, guys, this is Draiku coming at you. Back on the FTB1 server. Uh, you remember when we last left off, we built the homestead up. And I told you I was going to go mining between episodes. Well, it's been a couple of days. My life got busy again. As, you know, people with new jobs tend to have happened to them. So I did go mining. This mine goes way down there. And I decided for this episode, we need to get this homestead like set up. <clears throat> So, you see the grass over there that's kind of dirty? Ha 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 ha, dirty, you get it? That's because I took my brand new Tinker's Matic. This guy right... I hate my mouse. Uh, okay, this guy right here. That's nothing but a shovel, a shovel head, an axe head, and a stick, or a tool rod thrown together, and it gets you increased functionality. And with that, all I did is hoe the ground until I came up with these earthworms. Earthworms are from Alpex Actually Editions. And they do, they do wonderful things. They mean you don't need buckets. Because watch this. You take the earthworm. Come on, mouse. There we go. So you go one, two, right there. Watch this guy go. Bam. This guy will make a 3x3 three three square. Just like it's got a water thing there. A, a water source near it. So this way, we don't have to worry about making a bucket to have farmland. Kind of nifty, right? One there. One there. One there. Okay. So now, that's our farmland done for us. Because you notice my health down here is not doing all that well. So what I want to do is I want to plant some stuff. And I just typically do this in rows. Like we want flax for string. Those are berries. Those are bushes. We're going to put some bushes down as well. Love to have some strawberries, corn, lettuce, I don't care about artichokes very much, onions, because we're trying to make some burgers. I didn't pick up that much while ago, did I? Did I eat all my carrots? I guess I did eat all my carrots. That's okay. So the way I typically plant things is I just plant like a three by three with three different things in it. And the worms also act as if they're fertilizer. Like if you watch here just a minute, you'll notice the little sprinkle things will come up. And we're gonna make this entire, th we're gonna do two rows of string just cause I think that's nifty. Those worms will just keep on trucking. Now the way you get the worms is you just hoe grass. That's it, nothing special to it. That's right, nothing special. There we go, see? Because that earthworm, is, it's turning the dirt and fertilizing it. That's the most accurate way to say it. We'll get some wheat going there. There's some more Pam's Harvest craft gardens out here. <clears throat> Let's go see. Let's see anything good out of here. I saw some cotton pop in there. Oh, we got peanuts. I was hoping for that. Because the peanuts, you can make peanut butter. Slap that down. Okay, I don't care about parsnips. Chili peppers would be good. You can make some stuff out of those. There's more corn. Uh, which one is corn? Potatoes. Did I plant corn? Okay. There we go. They'll give me three corn. I don't care about cotton anymore. Lettuce would be nice to get that all the way out. This is the boring part of the game, so I apologize if y'all are already getting bored with me. Oop. I don't want that just yet. Got the entire thing lit up in here, too, so at night nothing spawns. I've already had to fight these two golems. I don't know if I told you about them in the previous episode, because it's been a few days since I last recorded. But they're, they were literally like giant fire-breathing golems. I don't know where they came from. Like, literally, like I was just standing here minding my own business, and then all of a sudden I was taking damage. That'll give me unlimited berries, because these will grow into a big square bush, then I'll put another little square on top, and it'll go up to three high. These little alien things are, like, multiplying, too. I can't figure out what they are. Okay, so... So I'll post on Reddit a few minutes ago. It's uh, 8 o'clock Saturday night. And I saw a post on Reddit talking about the new thermal dynamics, thermal 
I always get the name wrong. Let's see what they're calling it now. Thermal foundation blocks. Ooh, stone fishing rod, wooden shears, wooden hammer, stone reinforced bow. We can make that in just a minute. Hardened copper glass. Let's look at some of the stuff they got going on here. Phyto grow. Sawdust, slag, and saltpeter, which I believe are all byproducts. Saltpeter, charcoal dust, coal dust, that kind of stuff. And slag. It gives me 16 of them bad boys. Her. Then rich phyto grow. It's apparently the rich slag. Flux to phyto grow. I don't like there's a recipe for that yet. Those don't have uses. All these different dust that you remember from Infinity Involved and all the other mod packs. Oh, we got pyrothium and cryothium and erothium. Here we go. So pyrothium is showing that it can be a fuel. Burn time is 24,000. You know, one piece of coal smelts eight items. This smelts 120. And that'll make 24,000 RF in that generator. A quarter million in that generator. 1.2 million in that generator. You see how long it takes? Three hours or 20 minutes to make it because it's only five RF a tick. This one you can also make endarium ingots. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you use. The endarium gears. These have a use. No, they don't have a use yet, so it's not too useful. But they're there. There are things you can do with them. Now, where's the machinery? That's what we always want to know. He may not have put the machinery in yet. Because um, uh, King Lemming, the, the chief guy in charge of this mod pack. What does this do? Ooh. Well, the guy in charge of this mod pack said he's still waiting for artwork, which is why FTB Beyond has not been released yet. So that's what he's waiting on. In the meantime, let's going to throw these fruits back in here. Not fruits, but uh, vegetables back in here. Cucumbers I don't need. Got some wheat. Okay. You see, I did do some mining as promised. Got some gold. Got a bunch of iron. So my first thing I want to do is make something so that I don't have to waste these. I want to double everything we've got. Monazit use. Forsythium. Macerator. Oh, is, is that? That's the industrial craft one, okay. So I can use this to make force power crystals, which evidently are going to be used as part of this thing, which takes industrial craft stuff. Okay. Or Ender IO stuff, which I'm more familiar with. So I'm just not a fan of industrial craft. If you love it, more power to you. I just I used an Infinity Expert because you had to, and I did find out it was very, very powerful, so I'm not gonna diss the mod. I just don't enjoy the mod. That's just that's just me. Right, so let's go get some more wood. So I'm gonna build up a house. I'll tell you what. You know how to chop wood. I'm not going to make you watch me. I heard a spider. I do need some food, though. Any of you guys grown up over here yet? What are you? What did I plant here? Corn. Okay. No, no nothing under grown. I do notice these, these earthworms are causing a little bit of lag. And since I have nothing else to do, that's kind of the only thing it could be. Do I have more bushes? No. Okay. Let me go chop down some trees real quick to get some more wood. I'm going to build a house so we got somewhere to actually live. Got a garden going over here. So this garden will probably expand out another set of 3x3s three and then get filled in. So we have three sets of 3x3s. Three three. so basically a, a square of 3x3s. Three three. And then we should have a more than enough crops to get done when I want to get done. Corn. Here we go. Now we get some food out of here. You can take corn. Take all this corn. You can do stuff with it. So you can combine it together to make stuff. Make biomass for actual additions. Not too interested. Creamed corn, onions, cream. I don't have any cows yet. Here's what I want to do though. Come in still there. Let's stock corn on the cob. Look at that. Corn seeds, corn meal. Huh. Cornmeal, make tortillas. I'm thinking 
Oh, that's only a snack, though. Tortillas don't seem like a bad idea. That is perfect. Okay, tell it. I won't go to break just yet. Let's do this. One, two, three. I think it was like this, right? Yes. Perfect. There it is. Okay, I don't want to eat it yet. I want to make something out of it. What is that? Cornbread. Eggs, milk, and meal. So I just need water. Where do I get a, a water bucket like that from? Well, that's just the Pam's way of looking at it, I guess. Did I make any iron that I haven't used yet? Yes, I did. Here we go. Okay, and what was the recipe one more time? Just a bucket with that. Perfect. And you are two more irons than that. All right. Let's do this. Because you can take this guy right here. You can use it to make this. So three of those, two of those, those, and that. Okay. Oh, no. Two of them. All right, so let me get to the original plan. I'm going to chop down some trees. I planted all those birch saplings we got in episode one or two, whichever one it was. And I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back. I've chopped down quite a few trees. I replanted everything I chopped down so that we'll have more trees growing up to get a proper tree farm going. So let's do this. Let's do my standard house. We'll come in one from the fence, leave myself some walk area. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. I'm just going to outline this guy really fast. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Come back into here. And we come back in right about there. One more here. Perfect. Okay. I hope I have enough cobble. I'm debating, should we do this out of wood or cobble? Because it's all the cobble I've got. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up a lot of that because I didn't have a backpack or anything. Yeah, you see, there's not a lot of cobble in there. Um, let's use wood. We've got plenty of wood. So we go like this. I should have left a hole in the middle here for some glass. House is not a house unless it's got windows. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Go here. Just want to stack all these guys. And all we're doing here is these represent the frame of the house. And since we're in a birch forest, why not just going to make the whole thing birch? Kind of makes sense, right? Oh yeah, this is going to be the stuff right here. We'll come like this. Oh yeah, I hope we got enough. I'm going to put the door on this side, so it'll be like that. Yeah, that'll be like that. Windows here. And I'm not going to leave this all just straight wood blocks. I will go back and like decorate it up some. So don't fret about that. I'm not going to do the like completely, totally horrible house. Back here, we don't really need that many windows. But just for consistency, we're going to have them anyway. Let's do one, two, three, four. There we go. Whoop. Okay, I won't. Come on, mouse. There we go. I swear I gotta get me a gamer mouse one of these days. So, I didn't ask y'all when we started. How's your day going out there? How's your week going? I had a fabulous weekend. Celebrated my mother's birthday today. Me, my sister, her husband, and their two kids. Took her out for a nice picnic this morning. Had a blast. Got spend, I love spending time around the nephew and the niece. They are so much fun. 
And it's funny because I didn't even like kids before they were born, but now I can't get enough of them. And the, those, those two just completely, totally amaze me. Right now, I think what we're going to do next is I'm going to pause, put a roof on this. And I'm going to a roof made out of slabs. Yeah, I should have more than enough. You know what? Where is my crafting table? I want a stick. I bet we could do this out of cobble. Just to give it some variety. Let's do that. Don't know if we'll have enough here, but you know. It's not like cobble cost anything. I can always just get downstairs into the mine and get it. So let's do this first. Let's do you. I like to watch me get it started. And then, you know, placing tiles is not that much fun, so. Unless y'all just want to watch. I mean, y'all tell me in the comments. Like, when I was doing Sky Factory 3, which I still haven't finished. I haven't been in that world in a week or two. But when I was doing that, the comments on that one told me that y'all wanted me to do a lot of the building on screen. Instead of me doing like a little bit of build and pause and come back and bam, there's a big old structure. So if y'all want that this time around, you know, I need to know that kind of stuff. But tell me in the comments what you think about it. Also, I'm loving the comments I'm getting on the uh, first two episodes. Like... Uh, the guy who told me all about what that, that Tinker Spaghetti was, uh, or was it Tinker's Wheat? Or some kind of food source in Tinker's. Um, when we were looking through this the other day, that's pig iron nuggets. I can't for my life remember exactly what it was, but it was something I had no clue about, and then somebody told me all about it. They told me it makes a really good food source. So in the comments on the first video when I was looking, or second video, I don't remember. One of the two videos. But I really appreciate that kind of knowledge because it's the stuff I just don't know. So if y'all have knowledge to share, you know, tell me in the comments. And while you're making those comments, hit that like button and that subscribe button so you get to see more of when my stuff comes out. YouTube doesn't make it easy for you to see when stuff comes out. Somebody was telling me about that earlier. And well, I can't have I can't help that. So if you watch a lot of videos, then the stuff you watched most recently is what's going to show up in your suggested videos. Same thing happens to me. Like I was watching a ton of XB and Hypno when they were doing Sky Factory, and I was ahead of them for most of the time. So it was just kind of seeing how they approach things to see if there's anything different I could do. That would make my playthrough more interesting to me as I've recorded. But the more of them I watched, the more of their videos that got suggested to me, which I found kind of funny. I mean, I've, I've been a, I think Hypno was one of the very first Minecrafters I ever subscribed to. So that was kind of cool. But let's see. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at this height because this is a down slab. And nothing can spawn on that. Right up seven. Yeah, nothing can spawn on that at all. So we'll leave that like that. And that will be pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So then we don't have to worry about getting up and lighting up the roof. I do, however, want to light up the awnings. I should have brought my torches with me. Close at me later for this. Didn't realize I'd actually put them up. Because in, in Minecraft, you can never have too much light. Oh, no. There we go. So let's make sure this is all lit up. Put one here. Put them on the corners. That should be good enough. Don't see anything through here. Don't worry about the back because the outside lights that up. Uh... The one right there, that should be good, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to have to mine up some more cobble. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough cobble to make the roof. Let's find out, though, really quick. Because then we're going to get in some RF generation. 
because y'all did not come here, watch me play FTB Beyond, and just build stuff. Y'all want to see me play with some of the mods. Nobody's left that comment yet, but I know if I were watching the series, I'd be like, when is this guy going to do something? Am I right? That answer is going to be in just a couple minutes. So I'm not going to make you watch me go dig cobble either. I'm, I'm going to like get out of here for that. Thank you, Clee Slabs. All right, so I was right. We need more here. We're going to do this. Uh, okay. All right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to finish off this house. I'm going to kill it up seven because I hate seeing all that red under the fence. And I'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys. We're back. We are back. And it's been a little bit. Uh, I've got the TV show Cops playing in the background. And I might have accidentally started watching it because it's one of my all-time favorite shows. We've got a creeper out here trying to blow our perimeter. Can't be having that happen, can we? We are just going to do this the good old mob farm way. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Is there another one out there? Is there another one out there? I don't see one. I see a skeleton. He's under me. Oh, no gunpowder. That's a bummer. All right, so I was looking through the mod list. Because, you know, while watching cops, what better thing is there to do than look through your mod list? Oh, yeah, I got some more crops, too. We've got uh, blackberries, mushrooms, garlic, and radishes. I don't know what I'm going to do with the radishes, but I got radishes. But I was looking through the mod list, trying to figure out which RF generation would be best, and I realized that I've never done industrial craft on camera. And I know if you rewind this video like three and a half minutes, you're going to hear me talking about how I don't like industrial craft. I don't, even though it's a really powerful mod, it's really complicated. But look at all the different machines. We can do some cool stuff with this. And I'd love to go with Thermal Foundation, but their machinery is not loaded. You know, we looked at that a few minutes ago. It's just not there. But Industrial Craft is pretty much finished. So why don't we take a look at this and play through some of this stuff? Because it does do some... Oh it, oh, it bugs me to say it, but it does do some cool stuff. So we can like we can build a generator, which is not terribly hard to do. Generator, generator, machine casing, which is just iron plates. We can sacrifice some stuff. Tell you what, let's not sacrifice too much. Let's run down here really quick. I need my bronze pickaxe, which I believe I found in a chest. Let's just take a look at our mines. I did find out, here is the uh, cave that goes underneath the house. It's a pretty big one. I haven't gone up there, obviously, but it's pretty big. And from the look of it, ours magicka ores are like everywhere here, where in one seven you had to actually go look for them. So we're going to pluck some of these up while we're down here. Now, all I'm looking for is... One ore, very quickly, I need a start of quartz. That's it. So if y'all see one holler really loud, maybe that'll transform. That that scream will like go backwards in time, and I'll actually see it. You can tell I've already been all down in here, because I've got torches everywhere. In fact, I died right up here. I got stuck back in this little tunnel. There's a death right there, that's where that green one is. From uh, three nights ago. So yeah, there's that. Thermal foundation. We're not going to pick that up yet because we can't use it. There's some torches up in here. I'm looking for a Sardis Quartz. We're not looking for anything else. Ars Magica. Might as well grab it while it's here, though. Everyone trying to come at me. Man, oh man, oh man. Ooh. As soon as we get the ability, we'll get into some deep resonance, too. There we go. That's exactly what I want right there. 
Now you might be asking why we're looking for starter quartz. Because we can make a manual, what you call it, manual device that lets us double our ores. So that way I'm not going to waste any iron trying to get into automatic iron doubling. That's just kind of counterproductive, you know. I will go back and explore those caves later, and I'll bring you back with me if I find anything really, really cool. Ooh, ooh. No! Oh, that sucked. Brazen said, ooh, ooh, you saw the design that was on that rock when I started hitting it? That's called Moonstone. And Moonstone's very rare, and as you see, it moves. But if you can manage to get it, you can make some really cool stuff. It's an extra utilities two item. All right. A while ago, I didn't have this bronze pickaxe, which is why the ladder doesn't go straight down. Because I had to, like, curve over because my stone pickaxe wouldn't take care of the Ars Magic materials, and I didn't want to just lose it. So I just went around, you know. Oh, got to say, uh, what is this? Chest yeah, chestnut tree, too. I found some chestnuts over there underneath that uh, Tinker's Island, which we're going to get to in the next episode, I believe. I also changed the door because I just did not like the birch door at all. It's ugly. And put some glass panels in, so we're good to go on that. Okay, so what we need, we need this, this, uh, this. Now I got wood on me already. You, okay, one cobble, this one this time. All right, here we go. We need to get... You. There we go. There we go. Good cooperation. You, and I believe you go like this. Does it go like that? Um, what's it called? This comes from Applied Energistics. It's this thing. There we go. We need two more sets of these. Because it goes like that. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam. We stick this right here. We stick this on top of it. And I've shown this off of my other series, so if you've seen this before, can't do much for you. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do it all, but it's got a grindstone. You take the ore, stick it in here, however many you want to. You can put up to three stacks of any ore. It's not going to mix them together. And then you literally hold down your right mouse button, and this turns around. Cannot be automated, so don't try. It's, a, it's designed to accept no automation whatsoever. It's not going to happen. But as it goes around, it turns one into two. See, there's 59, 60. We put 61 in, but we've already got two out. So this is a manual grinder. Pretty plain and simple. But what I'm going to do here is we'll get to the end of this episode. We've got our homestead built. Got our farm built. Showed you about some actually additions earthworms, which are awesome. By the way, if you like actually additions, I do have a mod spotlight on my channel. For the amazing mod called Pumpka Splode that Elpec put out. It's one where you put a pumpkin on your head and the villagers blow up when they look at you. How much more awesome can you get? You might want to take a look at that too. But I will be back. I'm going to film a few episodes tonight. Because so, I'm off today and tomorrow. So I should have enough episodes to last us all week long. So there's no lull in the series like there was the last couple of days. I do apologize for that. Thank you guys for coming back out. I'm going to upload this immediately, so this may hit late Saturday night. If not, it'll hit first thing Sunday morning. And we'll take it from there. Again, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you next time.